So we just got some news that Apple might be releasing some new hardware much earlier this year than originally anticipated. So in this video, let's talk about what we think Apple's gonna release as soon as tomorrow morning through a press release. Let's get into it. So we've been able to figure out some information that Apple could be releasing via a news release or a press release the new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips inside of the new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros. So last year, Apple finally released the M2, so the second-generation version of their M lineup of chips, and they put it into the M2 MacBook Air and then the M2 MacBook Pro, but the MacBook Pro that kept the old design language, the one that doesn't have any ports or anything like that. So that one is one of the ones that you would kind of put as, as a wash because I don't know who would want the M2 MacBook Pro with the old design language that's already now seven, eight years old now at this point. But Apple did reinvent the M2 MacBook Air with a new design language to match the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBook Pros of years past. So, but we got some information from Ian Zelbo and also John Prosser to keep an eye out on Apple's news releases for this week because if the pattern follows, we should be getting an announcement tomorrow on Tuesday, then some press briefings and embargo lifts on Wednesday and Thursday, and then next week we should be able to order these M2 Pros and M2 Max MacBook Pros. And another thing that kind of helps with this idea is that Apple actually released the M2 iPad Pro the same exact way. It wasn't a big enough update to have it at a press event or a keynote that is specific to the iPad Pro. So instead, Apple just slightly dropped it, the M2 iPad Pro with the upgraded chipset and the new Wi-Fi 6E and the hover feature just with the press release. And Apple also did this with the original AirPods Pro back in, I believe, November of 2019. They literally just released the AirPods Pro as a press release. And now they're one of the best selling AirPods, if not the best selling headphones phone on the market. But as I've mentioned in the past, those days where we went with that huge leap from the Intel-based MacBooks to the M1-powered MacBooks, where everybody was wowed with the speed, with the consistency of the M1 chip, being able to open multiple applications immediately, everything moving over to an ARM-based processor, that leap was honestly exponential. It was something that we hadn't seen in a very long time. It kind of took, especially the entry-level MacBooks, it took them from kind of being on the slower side, especially opening applications that weren't native applications, to now being able to open 10, 20 applications at the same time instantaneously because of Apple's new silicon. But now moving from the M1 to the M2, we're probably gonna see the same kind of iteration that we saw going from the M1 MacBook Air and also from the M1 iPad Pro over to the M2 versions of those computers. So the reason this is coming out as a newsroom or a press release is because there probably isn't a substantial enough upgrade to have a huge marketing play to kind of entice people that are already using M1 Pros and M1 Maxes to upgrade from those computers over to these new M2 Pros and M2 Maxes. So these new MacBook Pros, in my opinion, won't be for the people that just upgraded to the new versions of the M1 Pro and M1 Max. It's gonna be for those people that are maybe coming from an M1 MacBook Air or even older. Maybe somebody's using a still a 2018 Intel-based MacBook Pro that finally is on its last leg and they're ready to upgrade. And now the newest version is gonna be this M2 Pro version. In my opinion, we're probably gonna see the same iteration in terms of upgrade and specs from GPU and CPU of around 10 to 20% of those on a relative basis. So think about maybe a 10 to 20% jump in CPU and then a 15 to 25% jump in GPU. Nothing too crazy. Apple's probably just gonna double the size of the Intel chip and also make it more power efficient, a lot quieter than it was before. And again, everything's gonna be optimization from a battery level standpoint. So if you're a current owner of a MacBook Pro, Probably don't hold your breath for this release because it's gonna be very incremental. We're not gonna see any upgrades. The hardware is gonna stay exactly the same. The colorways are gonna stay the same. The port situation is gonna stay the same. I would love it if Apple upgraded the HDMI for from an HDMI 2.0 to an HDMI 2.1, just because you're spending you know, about $2,000 as an entry level MacBook Pro. At that point, might as well give us the latest and greatest of HDMI technology. One thing that we did find out is probably Apple will add Wi-Fi 6E to the new MacBook Pros with the M2 Max and the M2 Pro version. Apple did this to the iPad Pros, the M2 versions of the iPad Pros, and currently the M2 iPad Pro is the only one that has Wi-Fi 6E enabled, and Wi-Fi 6E is a welcome addition. It'll probably double your Wi-Fi speeds from an internal standpoint, being able to take in more data at the same time. Keep in mind, you're gonna need a router that can actually supply that Wi-Fi 6E to your laptop. If you don't have one of those, then you know the Wi-Fi 6E situation is probably a wash, and if you're somebody that uses a lot of public Wi-Fi, you're probably not gonna be able to take advantage of this new speed, but again, Wi-Fi 6 is plenty fast enough for a lot of people. So as we mentioned, be on the lookout for a press release tomorrow for Apple to announce a new M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros, and again, both the 14 and 16 inch variants. There shouldn't be too many hardware differences, if any at all. If you already have an older one, it's probably not gonna be worth it to you at all. And now we're in an age where Apple's kind of perfected what they wanna do at this point, right? So everything is gonna be an incremental upgrade. The innovation isn't gonna come from a classic clamshell laptop at this point. It's probably not gonna come from a classic iPad Pro at this point. It's gonna be in different 
product categories like the AR VR headset that we mentioned. Maybe Apple does something to the Mac Pro that'll really wow us because the hardware should change on the Mac Pro with an M enabled chip. But be on the lookout to see what Apple's gonna do and how Apple's gonna market this new M2 Pro MacBook Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pro. And in their own right, they're gonna be absolute beast machines. It's just probably not gonna be that much of an upgrade compared to last year's model. But that's gonna do for this video. Leave some comments down below. What are you guys expecting out of this M2 MacBook Pro? Is it something that you're gonna to wanna to upgrade from, from an M1 Pro? Like I wanna know who those people are that are really pushing the M1 Max to the kind of like 99.9%. Because maybe if you're that person that's pushing it to the very end and you need that extra 20%, by all means, you know who you are and you'll want to upgrade and you'll be happy with the upgrade. But for most of us, we already have enough headway with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max that it's not going to be enough of an upgrade to really get you going, especially if there's no hardware differences and nothing kind of pretty to entice you. But that's going to do it, everybody. If you did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. And if you guys want to watch some more Mac OS, iOS, or iPad OS content, like an iPad Pro desk setup that should be coming very soon, Click on one of these videos right here, but until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.